What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, Ruby Rose, happy as Larry Group. I hope you're well. Happy Friday. <laughs> and I hope you're enjoying this beautiful sunny day today. The weather has finally turned for a few days, but let's enjoy it for now. Yay, we're back. Hello. We haven't done a video for a few days and uh, all very positive. We've just been very, very busy. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some great news ahead of time. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna keep you guys just there for a second. But yes, I know it's all very exciting, isn't it? We're taking some steps forward. And as always, you guys have been part of our journey from the beginning. And uh, we wanna to continue to take you on this journey. And for, for two reasons, you know, to show the aspiring entrepreneur, you know, the, the person that wants to have their own business, the person that wants to have the freedom. We want to take you step by step. You know, you can look back at this in 10 years time and you will be able to see our journey throughout the whole thing. You know, from day one, when we did our video, you know, for the 30 day challenge through to today, through to the future, you will be able to see every single step of what we've had to do in order to to get the business off the ground, to get it to where it needs to be. And I think sometimes there is a slight misconception when, you know, I've seen masterclasses, I've seen people sell the dream, which is a dream, but I think sometimes what gets forgotten is the the patience part. You know, the patience part is, is, is very, very key. And I talked about it before, about being actively patient. So always being able to do something, always doing something, even if you have a full-time job as, as I do. Um, but yeah, but being being able to, whether you're doing a course, whether you're training, whether you're focusing on just building your business slowly, as I always say, building your lifeboat, you know, so then you can then kind of burn the other boats and then just jump over full time. You know, you kind of get into the island, you burn all the boats and you have to make it work. And this is the thing, I think there is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pressure on us to be able to, to make things work really quickly. And you see sometimes some of the videos online, you know, in a year I've made half a million, in two years I've made, you know, eight figures or whatever it is. And and if the person doesn't do it, then that's really demoralizing. Cause I looked at my business and I'm two and a half years in and I'm not, I'm not there yet. You know, we may make six figures this year, but <clears throat> it takes hard work, you know? And, and it's again, patience, yes. One of the things I really want to talk about today, which um, has kind of come up for, for for me a number of times, I've spoken a couple of times, and um, I've been doing some some speaking gigs, <clears throat> and just being, I love doing them because I get to connect with people, I get to really tell my story, and and to to be able to help others, which is you know the, the reason I do these videos and the reason I, you know, I go out there and, and try to serve as, as best as I can. Ego. Ego is one of the things that came up um, a number of times last week, this week, and um, and I want to talk about it because ego is such a huge thing, and there is a huge difference between ego and confidence, and sometimes people get that kind of confused, and whether you're trying to achieve one of them, or hopefully you're trying to achieve confidence, not ego, um, <clears throat> some people can kind of get that confused and it can upset somebody and you know and they can kind of go back and forth back and forth and this again it's a massive yo-yo so ego as I start to continue to kind of understand is is a self-image it's an image that you want to portray to people of somebody who you're really not somebody who you want to portray to other people people um, somebody that you want people to see effectively so you know you put on different masks and you become that person. You're the actor, the actress, and you know, and you become that person, and that's who they see you as. <clears throat> and often, the ego, to start with, as as I've kind of experienced it, it feels good. It feels good to be in control. That's one of the things. Control. The ego is all about control. It's all about manifesting, you know, kind of this persona of who we think we should be. And often that gets also controlled by, you know, our peers, our friends, our work, social media, what we see on TV. We want to become these people. And in, in time, it starts to become very dark. It starts to become very tiring. And it starts to become 
very wearing on the body, on the mind, on the spirit. Yes, because it's not who we are. It's not who we are as individuals and, and, and it's really, really painful. And I understand that. Ego is not something we, we, we carry, you know, for, for the long term. The people that do, you know, are, and I have seen this. I have witnessed people who, listen, I, not one person I've seen who's egotistic, you know, has this fantastic, happy, fulfilled life. And I'm talking in every aspect of their lives. You know, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work. You know, a lot of the times, including myself, I ended up very lonely. I ended up upsetting a lot of people because of my ego. Now, here's the difference. When you have self-confidence, your ego disappears. You become very humble. You become very loving. You become very caring. Not that you lose your edge. If anything, your edge gets stronger, but it gets stronger in a sense where you're able to see things clearer. You're able to see the difference between the ego and other people who have, you know, um, the right motivation, people who are also self-confident. You're able to, to connect with those type of people and you're able to kind of see and kind of, as you know, as you would probably see, you know, kind of, you can smell the BS, you know, and the ego coming from other people. And that is something I try to work on all the time, is more around my self-confidence, who I am as an individual, so I can stand on my own without having to wear the different masks, you know, whether it's how you, what you're gonna think about me, how I should behave around you, you know, the things that I should say to make sure that I'm not upsetting you, or, or, you know, and <clears throat> I'm pleasing you, but not me. That doesn't benefit me, in, you know, in, in any way, of course, I'm not going to be rude or, or, you know, obnoxious towards people. I'm always going to practice love, kindness, tolerance towards other people. But that's because I'm confident. That's self-confidence. And what can happen is here is this. When you have self-confidence, other people who are insecure in themselves or who are egotistical, they can see that as ego and they can try and bring you down. Because self-confidence is something that really, really shines. You don't have to turn around and say, look at me, I'm very self-confident. It, it shows. It really oozes out, you know, your, your love, your kindness, your confidence. It oozes out. And some people get quite frightened by it. And, um, and it's being able to, if you see that, stick with it. You know, don't, don't rise to the ego. Stick to where you are. Stay humble and continue on your journey. And I've started to realize that and I'm expressing what I've seen for myself and, and I continue to just stay there. Listen, I'm human. Sometimes things do affect me because, you know, I, I do and have suffered with, with low self-esteem and, you know, and, and being a bit of a people pleaser. So sometimes, you know, I can walk away and my head will start to say, oh, maybe I should have said something. Maybe I should have done this, you know, maybe. And I then sit with it for a little while. I kind of observe, you know, what happened or what's happening at that moment and realize that, no, I'm going to stick to who I am, you know. And, and that's the most important thing that I keep learning is being who I am. Genuinely, self-confidence is key to succeed in life, in business, personal relationships and when you're surrounding yourself with the right people as well, I think in life, you know, people talk about it so much, you know, life is so short, you know, it's the life that we have here in terms of years, yeah, it's not a huge amount, you know, you're talking what, 80, 90 years, and it's not a huge amount, so make the most of it, you know, and, and don't suffer you know, by trying to please everybody else. Of course, we want to make other people happy, but happiness is a personal relationship. It's a personal relationship you have to have with yourself, but it's also a personal responsibility. So hopefully that's kind of made some sense. I wanted to touch on both, and I hope that you're you're working on smashing your ego and building your self-esteem, because self-esteem will see you so much happiness, so much love, so much success in your life, and it will help you to become the person who you'll always want to be. And um, I'll leave it there. And listen, go and enjoy the day. It's Friday. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, what do we say? Be amazing, be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal. You deserve to live an incredible life. Live it for you. Live it for yourself. Continue to do these things and just have an amazing day. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Leave your comments, share, and yeah, let's keep growing this family. I'll see you again very soon. Take care.